Hi, I'm Candy, and this Saturday is the Anzac Centenary and we encourage all Melbournians to get down to a dawn service. But then we encourage you to spend the rest of the day doing something traditional like heading to your local pub. Today I'm at the Mail Exchange Hotel with Nikki and what have you guys got planned for the day? We've got a huge day planned. We open from 7am. We're having breakfast to start with and alongside your first beer. With that we've got the football on all the TV screens and then we're most importantly from 12 o'clock we've got two up playing. We're the only hotel in the city to be playing two up. Tell us a bit about the game. Okay, it's a fun game. It's a circle of people. Someone goes in with a paddle in their hand. They put two pennies on the paddle, throw it in the air. It lands on heads, tails or odds, so one of each. And depending on what you've had a bet on is whether you win or not. It's a huge day and it's a lot of fun. Well, definitely a great way to spend Anzac Day, but that's not all that's happening around Melbourne this weekend. Genevieve, the Spanish Film Festival is back. What's your pick for us to check out? Hi, Candy. Yes, we're back. And this Friday, we're screening They Are All Dead. And if you come on down, you'll be able to meet our very glamorous international star, Elena Anaya. I also recommend that you see Blue Lips and Easy Sex Sad Movies. Great suggestion, and Justin, you've got an event at my favourite location. Tell us where it is. Hi Candy, here at the Old Melbourne Jail, the final instalment of the Whiskey Pop-Up Bars is taking place. Here you'll be treated to Japanese Suntory Whiskey Kakobin Highballs, and if that doesn't get you going, Ockentosh and Cloudy Apple Treacles sure will. And as they say in Japan, Kampai. That sounds like so much fun. Lots of stuff happening around Melbourne this weekend. Make sure you jump online and to our social pages, not only to find out about all of these events, but a few more great suggestions for this weekend as well. Of course, one of the most important parts of Anzac Day is the big Anzac Day clash. I am the on-ground MC for Essendon, so they're clearly my pick. Who are you going for? You've got good taste. I'm going for Essendon as well. Yes, well, that is the team to win this year. Whatever you do, guys, make sure this weekend you're on the list and make sure you do commemorate Anzac Day lest we forget.